Hello everyone and welcome to Target. We are at the Target in Rolling Oaks in Orlando and having a little browse today. I'm gonna to be showing you what's new. I was here maybe eight weeks ago, a couple of months ago. Everything was like Easter and spring stuff. So we're gonna head in and see what's new. Just take a general browse. I know you guys love looking around Target with me. We are absolutely loving these. I've seen somebody do like a DIY version, but basically you put your drink in here and the straw down through the middle and then you put your snacks in here. So you can basically sit there watching TV drinking a drink and eating your snacks. I think this is a little bit genius. It's $5. I'm thinking about getting one. I think I might. They have a few different colors. I love this gift bag. Will you accept this rosé? That'd be really nice for a gift. Combat trousers have made a massive comeback, but these ones are like, kind of like parachute material. I used to wear combat trousers back in the day. I want to say like 2004, but these are, yeah, I don't know. These feel a little crunchy and they're very orange. Oh, look at these. They are awfully shiny. And again, crispy. It's a lot of crispy clothing. I 100% used to own something like this many years ago. I had one exactly like it. Everything comes back around. These look more like the ones I used to wear. Look at this little Mario dress in the kids section. This would be really good with Epic Universe opening next year. This would be a good outfit to wear to that. Still don't have an opening date for Epic Universe, but hopefully we'll know soon. I was just walking by and these pyjamas were just hanging on the end of this rail. I think someone's put them down in the wrong place, but I actually really like these. Are they shorts? Yeah, they're shorts. I might get this. Here we find Kate in her natural habitat shopping. Anything yet? Oh, yes, we have an item. I have the PJs. No idea. But you gonna try them on? No. No. <laughs> Can't be too hot. <laughs> Just in the beauty section now, and I always love this bit where they have the miniature versions of stuff. Why is it that things are better when they're in a miniature version? I don't know. That sounds pretty nice. Ooh, look at this. That's fascinating. Just in the bakery section now, and these pretzel hamburger buns look really good. That's reminding me of the pretzel baconator I had at Wendy's. You can also get mini ones. They have pretzel slider buns. You can just get stuff over here that we do not get at home. Some kind of cookie tower there with frosting. Look at that. It's called a cookie mountain. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm really hoping they have the Dunkin' strawberry coffee because I loved that. I got some last time. I'm going to get two if they have it. It was actually really, really good. I was surprised. I thought it might be a bit weird, but it wasn't. It was nice. I bet they're not going to have it anymore because it was a limited edition. Oh no, I don't think they do. Should have bought more last time. Blueberry muffin. Actually, they had that one last time. They had the blueberry muffin and the strawberry. But the strawberry's gone. We well, can get everything crackers with the everything seasoning. You know, I get the cashews with this on. I like the sound of everything crackers. I wonder if I can get those home without them being broken though. I guess I could put them in my cabin luggage. Realistically, am I gonna have room for that? Probably not. Oh, I really want them though. I'm gonna get them. Oh, they have some kind of Bridgerton range here. Izzy and Liv. Oh, they've got Bridgerton slippers. They're amazing. All is fair in love and war. This one says Queen. And that one's got a B on it. They have this Bridgerton party pack, like if you're having a little tea party or something, that's really cool. They have a writing set and a fan, and then they have the books down at the bottom there. I really love the mug with the B on it. And as usual, I've ended up with a shopping cart that does not function. It's making a bit of a shaky noise too. Browsing the home section, and I do want to buy a little coffee pot, just like a cafetiere, to keep in the owner's locker, because that's normally what I use for my coffee. Kate's smelling some candles. They good? Pineapple slushy. Oh yeah, it might smell like Dole Whip. No, not really. It's more um, fruity. That is nice though, I actually really like that. I would buy that if it wasn't so heavy. I always love smelling candles to see if any of them smell like Disney. Then of course I buy them. What is this one? Oh, it's like in a can. What is happening? Flame candle. I guess it's just like a pillar candle, but it looks like it's in a can. That's kind of cool. This is a nice little canister to keep your coffee in. I have a really nice one at home I got from Amazon, but that one's nice. I love the little scoop. Be kind. Love that. And we'll look at the mugs. I love this one. Trust the process. That is one of my favourite sayings. Emotional support coffee. Love that as well. I really like that. Kate was just considering a purchase. She really likes this, but she's restrained herself. I've bought some reusable straws. 
We still need the coffee pot. Where is that going to be around here somewhere? Oh, and you can get Mountain Dew for your soda stream over here. Do you love a bit of Mountain Dew? Not very good for you, but I do like it. Okay, we found the coffee machines, but I just want a push down cafetiere thingy. We found it. Well, they have a couple of different ones. This is just the cheapest one. I just need something cheap for the owner's locker. Just checking how big it is. Oh, it should be there. Yeah. It's not as big as the one at home. It's pretty might, similar though. You might struggle to get two cups out of that. That'll work. And when Kate says two cups, we mean like big old mugs, like the travel mug size. That's why we need one that's bigger. I feel like Lego has just got really posh all of a sudden. They have a bouquet of roses out of Lego. That was really cool. That's 59.99. Lego is always kind of pricey. And over here, they have a whole range of botanical stuff. They've got bonsai tree. I love that. Orchids. Oh my gosh, look at the orchid. The orchid's probably my favourite. And they have succulents and a dried flower centrepiece. We're now in the kind of seasonal section where last time it was Easter and we now have a summertime spot. And they've got s'mores brownies. Oh, look at these strawberry mini waffle cones. They look amazing. I mean, I don't need those in my life really, but tempting as it is. And they have summer lemonade trail mix. That looks really nice. Honey barbecue kettle corn. Oh, this looks good. Must resist all of this. Oh, dill pickle popcorn. What the heck? Catherine would love that, I think. I actually might buy this for Catherine. I don't know when I'm going to next see her, though. When does it go bad? Um, oh, January 2025. Yes. Catherine, you've got a gift coming your way if you watch this video. Oh my gosh, they have cotton candy trail mix. That looks really good, too. I might have to get this. Oh, this is on sale. I'm getting it. So much for a non-expensive Target trip, it never happens. I think I'm gonna get some cheese and then I can eat those everything crackers while I'm here. Cause I really don't think they're gonna travel home very well. Look how many baby bells you can buy. Like that is a seriously big amount of baby bells. What the heck? It's like 11.69. Why are these ones green? Oh, mozzarella baby bells. Ideally I need something that's like already sliced up cause I haven't got a sharp knife. Medium cheddar. Their cheese is a lot more yellow looking over here, so I'm never certain what's what. I guess this is what I want. Uh, medium white cheddar. I think this is what I want. Oh, Kate's recreating a Starbucks drink, she said. What have we got? Salt and caramel cold brew. Ah. And. Oh, and the foam. Salt and caramel foam. You can buy like big slabs of cookie dough here as well to like roll out and just put in the oven. They have birthday cake cookie dough. This is exciting. All the nuts are on sale. I'm gonna get some of these. I love these. What is always so expensive are the macadamia nuts. They're like 11 89 But all of these other ones actually, uh, all of them are on offer at the moment. White cheddar trail mix. They just have so many like different types of everything. Churro inspired trail mix. Peanut butter monster. Peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter s'mores. Well, they have cookie dough ones, speaking of cookie dough. I've had these glazed donut almonds before, but they also have sweet fig glazed cashews and honey and lavender glazed almonds. They sound really interesting. They also have ranch cashews. I have turned over some kind of new leaf recently because I haven't bought any of this. I haven't bought any M&Ms. <laughs> I've just bought nuts, basically. I did get the cotton candy trail mix, which is hardly healthy, but maybe it's slightly better. I'm gonna tell myself it is. A very large water Kate has there. This is for our coffee. Not that we drink too much coffee, but you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how much coffee we drink. Yeah. But we don't like the tap water. It tastes bad, doesn't it? I mean, it's okay, it's drinkable, but it's not. No, it's not the best. I used to always buy these, the frosted sugar cookies. They are so good, but I'm not going to get them. I try not to eat too much things like this anymore but they are really, really good. The trouble is, because I eat a lot of Disney snacks for the videos, I don't then want to be eating things like this, like back at the hotel, but I do love these. And they have some red, white, and blue, kind of 4th of July themed cookies here. They're really cute. They just have so much stuff like this that's very themed. We just really don't have anywhere near as much stuff as this. Back in the UK, if you're having some kind of little gathering, you can just buy stuff like this. It's already kind of made up if you're in a rush. Have a, what is that? A chicken Alfredo penne. I guess this is kind of like ready meals, but they've made them up fresh here. Sesame teriyaki chicken. That actually looks really good. Oh, look at this. You can buy chicken tenders. It has like strawberries in it. That's kind of random. And bone-in chicken wings. Look at this. It's got little smiley guys in it. That's so random. Pretty nice looking salads here too. That looks good. 
Okay, we are back from Target. This is not the best angle in the world, so sorry about this, but I wanted to do a quick Target haul to show you guys what I got, because I know you always like to know what I bought, and I showed some of it as I was going around, but I didn't show everything. So, items we have are the dill pickle popcorn. I got that for Catherine. She loves dill pickle, so I personally would not like this at all, but that sounded a bit interesting, so I'm going to send that to her when I'm back. And we did show you this in the vlog. This is the French press that we got. It was just the most basic one they had and um, it should be just about big enough for what we need. But they do have coffee machines a lot of the time in the rooms when you're in the States, but I really like my coffee in one of these. Sometimes the coffee in the machine, it's like a little bit weak. It's just not the best. So I tend to prefer something like this. I thought I could just keep that in the owner's locker. Then I picked up some of this Tresemme Extra Hold hairspray. You can get Tresemme back in the UK, but this particular one I really, really like. And it is slightly different to what we have back home and this one is just a really good size i actually bought this for travel because it's bigger than a travel one but smaller than like the big ones that you buy that are too big and take up all of your suitcase so i just got that for future travel purposes maybe like shorter trip and of course you saw this the snack mug i'm completely obsessed with this i think it's amazing i bought the straws as well so i got these kate's actually already used one for a drink she's having it's got a little cleaning brush thing on the end there as well so yeah you make your drink in the mug put this on top and you can put your snacks in here whether it's like fruit or nuts or whatever you're snacking on and then your straw just goes in there so you can like eat your snacks and drink your drink. I think this is great, I love this. And I think it's, is it Stanley is the brand? Stanley cups, which are really, really popular. I think somebody made something like this to go on their Stanley cup. I think that's where this concept originated from. Obviously this is just a like Target version. It was only like $5, it was really cheap. Then I have the pair of pajamas that I showed you. So it's just a top and shorts that match. I really like that. I got my little everything crackers and I bought some cheddar to go with those they're just good for like if you're in the room for a little bit and need something to snack on the everything cashews so the everything is the same seasoning that's on the crackers that is on these as well just in case you didn't know everything seasoning was created by somebody somewhere who owns a bagel shop i believe to put on top of their bagels and it massively went like viral and now they have this everything seasoning on everything. The lime Tostitos. I always get these because they discontinued lime Doritos in the UK and I love these and you can still get them here so I do usually get those. It's like a massive pack of them so it takes me quite a while to get through those. And I also got some fruit. This really big, this is like a huge thing of it but Kate and I will eat this for breakfast but I bought that basically just to have in the mornings and my trusty Gatorade. Also probably not the best thing ever but I do love it. I always get this while I'm here. Normally I drink like tea and coffee and stuff, but I do love a bit of Gatorade. And we just got loads of water, like a huge thing of bottles of water as well. And that's everything that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little shopping haul and look around Target with me. I know you love a look around Target, so do I. When I come to Orlando, I was saying to Kate earlier, it's actually one of my favorite things going to Target. I don't know why. Everyone loves Target, whether you're in the States or whether you're visiting from wherever, the UK especially, we love it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be other stuff coming up on this channel to do with Orlando, like restaurants, and shop with me I'm going to do a shop with me at Walmart so you can see what they have in there what the difference is so please do subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of that and you can always follow my Disney vlogs over on Disney in detail as well so a huge thank you to you guys as always for taking the time out of your day to watch this video I hope you're all well and having a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>